Uh, well, once again, welcome back to the castle. Today, a video I've been meaning to make for a long time. Um, this is with my Court KX Custom. It's a beautiful guitar. Thick flame maple cap with gorgeous gr <coughs> faded green colouring to the maple. No binding, just the maple itself, and you can see how thick it is. I don't know if, if I turn it around so you can see the neck joint, you can see how thick the maple cap is. It must be over half an inch. String through the body, black nickel hardware, very, very nice. Looks beautiful under lights, a real stage monster. Uh, simple controls, volume and tone. The tone pot has a coil split. I'll show you the sounds shortly. Uh, ro rather nice, I believe, mother of pearl sort of reverse Nike tick mark, um, harmonic markers, locking tuners, and more than a nod, I think, to PRS. Um, someone once told me that these were made in the same factory as the PRS SE uh, diffusion models. I, I don't know that. Maybe someone can confirm that in the comments section. Uh, beautifully balanced. Solid mahogany back, mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, 24 medium jumbo frets, uh, very comfortable to play. Um, a compromised neck in the sense that it's a, it's it's it almost feels compound from a, a C shape through to a D shape at the top, but it's it's not as chunky as a 50s Les Paul and it's not as skinny as a 60s SG. Um, but it's a very comfortable neck to play, and as I said, it's very, it's very beautifully balanced. Uh, they don't make them anymore. Um, I've seen them trading on eBay at around about six to seven hundred pounds, including a hard case. So if I was ever going to sell this guitar, which I might one day, um, express interest if you're interested, um, then uh, that's the sort of level I think I'd be looking for, and I think it justifies it. Pickups are the are the crowning glory here. You've got the JB fifty nine Seymour Duncan pairing SH one SH four, um, absolute classic pickup combination. And given what I paid for the guitar several years ago in a pawn shop, I don't think they had any idea what they had hanging on the shelf. Um, I effectively got the the rest of the guitar for free because I, I paid just over the price of the pickup set. So. Uh, quick rundown of the tones. Move that out of the way. So this is with the full humbucking. I'll start. I'll start with the neck, uh, with the bridge. Then go to the middle double position. Then go to the neck. Then I'll pull the coil splits out, and you'll hear the the the, the changes as they happen.
those, those, those are the basic tones that you get. I like the split uh, with the two pickups together. Great for sort of rhythm work, funky rhythm work. sometimes put a compressor on to even up the volume between the splits and the non-split uh, versions of the sound but very very toppy very jangly um, almost acoustic sound on the neck pickup <laughs> This is an amazingly versatile guitar. Um, it can it can make every sound thanks to the pickups. You can go through from acoustic through to crunch through to warm jazzy tones. I'll just put it back to. This this is a tune that those who watch these videos have heard this before.
brief, brief trip down. I've had this guitar, oh Lord, years. Five years, maybe more. Um, don't think I will ever sell it, but on the other hand, keep an eye out on eBay. Um, if you want a guitar that does everything and looks fantastic on stage and is cheaper than buying, a, buying an American PRS, then I think this is a fantastic option. Um, I've never played a PRS SE, so I can't tell you how they compare, but I would be surprised if you tell much of a difference between them. I suspect this would probably come out on top. Anyway, there you go. So that's the latest from the castle today. I will be back with uh, another video. This, the next one I'm, I'm due to make is of my Schecter o Omen 6, which is a, again another shred machine with remarkable versatility, but probably the highest output pickups of any I've actually got. They have a DC resistance of 15.5K, for those of you who know what that means. Anyway, nice to see you. Comments as always, and questions I'll answer. Uh, as soon as I have the time.